makes your garden grow water and sunshine what makes your spirit grow knowing that she'll be mine hey friends welcome to freedom homestead i'm tangy and welcome back to my homestead kitchen i am so excited to have you guys here with us we are finally home uh, in case you have missed the videos, in case you've missed our uh, social media posts, we are finally home. We've been home for almost a, uh, a, almost a week now, and um, it's just been amazing. So we want to thank all of you for your support, your encouragement, your prayers, uh, your gifts, and um, we just can't thank you all enough for all of that. So, like I said, I do have a grocery haul behind me. Um, I was focusing on Whole Foods. Um, with everything going on in the world, I really just wanted to make sure that we were eating good, nutritious food. And so, I'm going to show you what I got, and then I'm going to give you a few ideas of what I plan on making this week. So, here we go. I went to Aldi. Um, we have a grocery budget of $120 a week. I actually did go over. Um, I got, uh, I spent $126 and some change, but um, I did have to get some uh, avocado oil, which is not something that I have to get every week. My dogs are playing behind the camera and that's why there's a lot of background noise. That sounds really weird. Uh, girls. Hey, can y'all take that somewhere else, please? All right, so let me show you what I got. All right, here is a spread of the table and a quick shout out to the Texas Boys. If you do not follow the Texas Boys My Family Story, um, you are really missing out on a wonderful family, great content, um, very helpful, everything from uh, stocking your pantry, gardening, raising livestock, homeschool. Um, anyway, they have a store and they sell um, home uh, handcrafted teas, um, handcrafted uh, candles. This is an organic soy candle. This scent is tobacco caramel and then it has the wooden wick and it is phenomenal. Um, anyway, so definitely check them out. I will leave them a, a link in the description box. Um, they also have... Um, uh, T-shirts with Bible verses on them. Just love, love their stuff and love that family. All right, so let me show you what I got. All right, so panning down, starting from here all the way down. Again, all of this is from Aldi. Um, I got two pounds of pork sausage. Uh, they were $2.99. They've really gone up in price, but hasn't everything. Um, creamer, I am going for the delight, Delightfully Pure um, it is, uh, let's see, it has, uh, non-fat milk, cream, sugar, natural flavor, salt. Of course, natural flavors can be a myriad of things, but this is the lesser of the evils. Um, and so that's what I've been putting in my coffee. Uh, got some orange juice and I was so excited. I could not help myself. You guys, so when I saw this, um, I just love fall and I love apple cider. So I grabbed some of that. Um, I got three bags of the sweet butter lettuce mix, and I, this is my favorite. I love it. Um, and when we were, the house that we were staying at, the refrigerator kept freezing my bags of salad. So I had to quit buying them um, unless we were going to eat them like that day. But yeah, so it's, it's great to be able to get a few of those because they will keep in the fridge for a little while. Okay, I've got a, a bag of russet potatoes. Uh, I got some ketchup. We're just about out. Of course, there's the avocado oil that I said that I got. I did get ranch. I do want to learn to make my own from scratch, um, but as of right now, that's what we're going to use. And let's see. Here I got uh, two jars of the organic marinara sauce. I love this. Really simple ingredients, and it has a fantastic flavor. Um, I got an English cucumber. I got two blocks of white cheddar cheese. I got two acorn squash. They were $1.09 a pound. Um, I got some gala apples. Um, I wanted to try this. This looks really good. It's very simple ingredients. Um, and I, I do have a recipe in mind that I'm gonna try with that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I got two pounds of ground beef. Uh, I got a bag of frozen whole kernel corn. Oh, I also got four uh, avocados. They were on sale for 70 cents a piece. 
I got a can of black olives, a jar of artichoke hearts, two cans of wild Alaska pink salmon. Oh my goodness, girls. Um, I got this small little thing of goat cheese. I think the price went up and the size got smaller. I could be wrong. Um, but this was like $3 and some change, I think. Uh, anyway, I did get some deli meat. They, they stopped carrying the deli meat that I was getting from there. It's like, um, slices of, you know, whole, whole meat. Um, and it was on the pricey side, but I was felt really good about the ingredients. Anyway, this is, um, not as good, but it'll do. Uh, okay. I got some string cheese. Uh, I got some Parmesan cheese, some premium cheddar slice for sandwiches, uh, some heavy whipping cream, some bananas, got some spinach. I got a bag of organic uh, yellow corn tortilla chips. I like these, but I think I'm the only one. So I did get a bag of regular tortilla chips. I also got uh, this sourdough bread from Aldi. If you have not tried this bread, it is incredible. Three main ingredients. It's a small batch. Um, my kids like making sandwiches with it. I like making sandwiches with it. It's very tasty. Um, so I got two loaves of that. Uh, I got a whole never any chicken. I was hoping they would have some of their organic whole chickens, but they were out. So I just grabbed a never any. Um, I also got some of uh, this thin sliced chicken breasts. And this was, this was $2.29 a pound. And I think that does it for the grocery haul. Okay, so uh, some of the meals that I plan on making this week with the uh, chicken breast, uh, the bronze cut pasta, the artichokes, the spinach. I'm gonna do a spinach artichoke pasta. Um, just sounded really good. And we'll probably have a side salad with that. Um, something else that I wanna try making is a stuffed acorn squash. I saw, um, I think it was, Lisa at Farmhouse on Boone did a stuffed acorn squash. Uh, I think it was in her favorite fall recipes video. I could be wrong. But anyway, that just looked really good. And I thought I would like to try to make that. Um, of course, we have stuff for spaghetti. Um, the I got the russets because it's been a long time since I've bought russets. And they make really great baked potatoes. And I thought one night we could do a baked potato bar. Um, I still have some uh, frozen broccoli from the last time I got groceries. Um, so I thought frozen broccoli, green onions, cheese, bacon, um, all of that just sounded really good. Um, uh, then of course I have my chicken, the whole chicken, and what I plan on doing with that is roasting it with potatoes, carrots, onions, lots of seasoning, and then um, when we're done eating it, take the bones and make a bone broth. Um, anyway, so those are some of the ideas that I have for dinners that we're going to be making this week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul, and I hope you guys enjoyed being back in the homestead kitchen. We are so happy to be here. Ah. You guys know Jack, Jack, our people. Uh, anyway, so that's all I've got for you guys today. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully you found something helpful, maybe got some ideas. Um, but until next time, guys, remember to be vigilant, be prayerful, and be prepared. God bless, and we will catch you on the next one.